So in this video, we're going to discuss what is an SEO domain, and SEO, as we've established, is search engine optimization. So an SEO domain is a domain name that is optimized for good and high rankings in the search engines. So there are three elements that you need to consider when you're choosing your domain name if you want it search engine optimized. The first one is um, having a keyword rich domain name that the top level domain suffix is correct and that you've registered it with a good service. So we'll go over each of those one by one. A keyword rich domain name is either going to be a domain name that has your general broad industry keyword in it. In this case we've got Men's Health World. So Men's Health is the industry keyword and when you go to that website it's going to have pages that are all about men's health from prostate care to men's supplements and all of that sort of thing. So that's the like the umbrella. A targeted keyword um, domain name would be something like make your own website easy where you have put keywords in a string and that is very targeted towards that specific keyword. So where we've got make your own website easy, we're looking for people who have typed in that very specific long tail keyword string. We're not interested in people looking for website design or create your own website or keywords like that. This is highly targeted. Which one you choose ultimately is going to depend on what your website is about. If it's a general website and it's going to have lots of different topics within the industry, you're going to want to choose number one, the industry keyword. And if you are targeting a very specific product or an audience, then you're going to want to do the targeted keyword here. Top level domain suffix is a uh, .com, .net, .org and also .info, .biz, .ws are considered top level domains. But for search engine optimization, it's always best to start with a .com unless you are an organization, in which case obviously you would do .org. And if you can't get a .com, you can get a .net. And if you can't get any of those three, before you go down to the second layer of .info, .biz, .ws, I would go uh, to getting into creativity about choosing uh, what your top level domain is. For instance, when we looked at this product, uh, make your own website, that was the keyword we originally wanted to target, but it was too competitive and, and it was taken. So simply by putting the word easy at the end of it, we got our .com. So you could consider something like uh, make your own website 101, um, my make your own website or make your own website, you know, what you know, whatever you want to put at the end of it or the beginning of it to keep that keyword in there. So if your industry was widget gadgets and widgetgidgets.com was uh, was taken, you could call it my widgetgidgets.com and that way you've got your keyword in that dot com without diluting it too much. So we're over here at Google to prove my point basically. If you want to get a top ranking um, in Google, you really do need a .com, uh, .net or a, a .org site. And so here we are at um, Men's Shoes I've typed in. And if you scroll down here, we've got mainly .coms. In fact, I think they're all .coms. Yes, they are. This is the front page of Google. So we don't really want to worry about what's on the others because you are going to want to get ranked on this front page to get traffic. So information sites might be a bit different. So let's have a look at bird watching information. See if we can find any .ws sites on here. .com, .org, .edu. Yeah, mostly .coms and .orgs, .edu doesn't apply unless you are a school. So there you go, no .ws's or .infos or .biz. Let's try a business site actually. Um, business software. 
a bit general, but let's have a look and see if we've got any .biz sites on the front page. Again, .coms, .orgs, .coms, .orgs, same. So there you go. Head for your .com, your .org, and if you can't get those, your .net. Domain registration service is extremely important to choose, and there are a lot to choose from, and the prices vary. At the top of the range, you've got the original domain registration service network solutions. I think they're still $35. And then you've got HostGator, which is more mid-range, at $15. And then you've got a lot of other services that are under $10, um, and you've got GoDaddy that's even less than that. Now, one of the reasons why the domain registration service has become part of choosing a good SEO domain is because of this. GoDaddy, and up there you'll see I've got no GoDaddy. You want to avoid cheap domain registration services if you want to rank high on the search engines. So the reason for that is because in the beginning when GoDaddy was charging uh, a, a, a phenomenal uh, small amount of money, a lot of spammers were buying up domain names, doing major email spamming, and then the domain would get closed down. But it didn't matter because they would just buy another cheap one. And a lot of spammers um, often go for the cheap domains because they, they are dispensable. So Google got onto that and started Google slapping GoDaddy. And it's taking time for them to build their reputation up. So it's kind of best to avoid that because you don't know which services have been Google slapped and you don't know when they've got their favor back. So if you stick with the good ones, um, you'll, you'll have no problem with that. And HostGator is definitely a good way to go if you're going to choose them for hosting. For tips on making your own website easy, head on over to our website. And thanks for listening. You have a great day. Bye now.